Hi, my name's Cameron. I'm going to be talking about coordinated traffic signal design. My group mates were Quinn, Caleb, Tyler, Jacob, and Tyson. To begin with, according to the Federal Highway Administration, coordinated traffic signal design is largely a strategic approach to synchronize signals together to meet specific objectives. While there are numerous objectives for coordinated traffic signal design, some of the most common are to develop systems that provide smooth traffic flow and reduce travel times, stops, and delays. One of the common factors that must be considered by engineers that are designing coordinated traffic signals is cost. Mathematically speaking, cost for the coordinated traffic signal system can be understood by the equation A times the number of stops plus B times the total delay time plus various other terms. In this formula, A and B reflect the estimated economic cost for each stop and delay. Another factor that influences coordinated traffic signal design is the purpose of the signal system. When designing a coordinated traffic signal system, an engineer will need to consider the layout of the street and the amount of traffic that is expected to encounter this traffic signal. Next, engineers involved with coordinated traffic signal design will need to consider factors that lessen the benefits of their design. These might include low roadway capacity, substantial side friction such as parking, loading, and driveways, high traffic speed variability, and short signal spacing. Finally, an engineer needs to consider whether a given intersection will work well with a certain coordinated traffic signal design given the variability of the roadways and intersections. Certain cycle lengths may be inappropriate or even counterproductive. A time-space diagram is one of the best ways for an engineer to evaluate their coordination strategy. This diagram provides a better visual so that engineers are able to spot any factors that will lessen the optimization of the system such as high traffic speed variability. It does this by taking into account multiple factors like the cycle lengths of the traffic signal or speed limit of the area. As you can see, the diagram's y-axis is the distance the vehicle travels and the x-axis is the time cycles of the traffic signal. The goal is to have all the traffic signals coordinate together so that a vehicle is able to travel along the road, hopefully catching all the green lights and no stops to slow down the travel time. Obviously, with more vehicles and artillery roads put into the equation, time-space graphs get much more complex and peak optimization of the road is difficult to reach. The cycle lengths need to best fit the flow of the traffic and make sure every vehicle has their chance to go with little impedance of their trip as possible. Traffic signal controllers have been the mainstay of traffic technology since its genesis. Electromechanical controllers involve the use of gears and timing dial to create cycle lengths in which intervals could be created. Actuated traffic signals are those that utilize sensors to activate a change in phase. Semi-actuated signals use a combination of pre-timed and actuated phases. This is the mode that coordinated traffic signals are most commonly operated in. Microprocessor-based controllers can be programmed with software to have different sets of functions. Other than controllers, the other technology is the fundamental technology and equipment that is behind the coordination such as traffic signal heads, lights, and variety of other sensors used. The latest technology in the realm of the coordination of traffic design includes sensor and camera actuated technology and adaptive or intelligent signals. From what has been seen so far, the use of this new technology is revolutionary. The downside of, this, of the use of this technology is that the cost of running all of them along with maintenance is high. No matter what option we choose, it almost definitely won't get cheaper as we make technological advancements. This needs to be kept in mind as we test these options, along with all other factors that come, come in with the decision-making process. The future of coordinated traffic signal design may look like intersections without any traffic signals. With the increase in autonomous vehicle technology, experts believe that through development of V2X communication, cars will be able to communicate on the network with other vehicles. This will allow vehicles to signal where they are and what movements they intend to make in the intersection. To obtain this theoretical limit, it will require a large cultural shift. Drivers must be willing to give up control traditional traffic signals offer to acquire a more efficient intersection. Finally, the important takeaways to know about coordinated traffic signal designs are that the ultimate goal is to reduce travel time, stop time, and delays. To obtain the most efficient travel times, it will require the use of current technologies such as sensors, and camera actuation combined with V2 communication. Commuters should have an open mind when it comes to changes that will take place. Coordinated traffic signals ultimately affect every driver on the road.